With that five, we begin with a family caught in the crossfire of a shootout. Police now trying to find out how a civilian member of the police department was shot. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live on Detroit's west side where it happened. And Kim, have police identified any suspects yet? No, not yet, but Detroit police are working hard to try and find the two shooters. Now, one man living nearby said it sounded like one of the shooters was using a handgun and the other a fully automatic. 15 to 20, yeah. maybe more. It was just after 10 last night when people living and working near McNichols near Greenlawn heard what they first thought were large fireworks, but they quickly realized they were gunshots and some tried to take cover. I was scared. I was afraid. I, I hid behind the wall. Hiding was pretty much to me out of the question. Something with that much power would come through the wall anyways. Detroit police returned to the scene today to try and find surveillance video and see what people living nearby may have seen. We do know that one of the bullets hit a 36 year old man who was just driving by on McNichols with his wife and three year old daughter in the car with him. Well, we was back there uh, making sandwiches and I heard a customer like they shooting out there. They shooting out there. We're told the victim heard gunfire, then realized he had been hit and he managed to drive about a half half mile east to a Coney Island for help. This surveillance video shows police responding to the restaurant to help the victim who we're told is a civilian employee with the Detroit Police Department. We're not used to that, you know, we, we just, like she said, we just moved here. We've been here since February and to hear something like that was scary. And we're told the victim is expected to recover from a gunshot wound to the arm. If you have any information in this case, you're urged to call the 12th Precinct or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. On Detroit's west side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Hopefully police get some information soon. Kim, thank you.